Hey guys, Shelly here, off grid with whiskey and sunshine. I'm gonna plant some potatoes today. I have some red seed potatoes. And I also have this monstrosity. Uh, this is a 50 pound bag of Maine potatoes. They were grown right in Canton, Maine, which isn't too, too far from here. And uh, we bought this 50 pound bag back in January, February sometime. Used quite a bit of it, probably two thirds of it, and then forgot about it. And uh, I'm growing my science experiment here. So, um, yeah, so I got a bunch of potatoes that have sprouted. And if I am correct, all these little sprouts that are on here, I think will make potatoes. So if I can get this in the ground and leave just a little bit here sticking up so that it can grow into a nice green uh, leaf and a bush, then it'll grow all these little sprouts here as long as they're underground into potatoes so we're gonna see it's a little experiment hopefully it works because i'm gonna use my whole corn bed here and plant these i may need to put some somewhere else because i don't know if these will all fit uh i don't know but that's okay we've expanded and we can expand again if we have to lay them down here I'm able to get in this row I've got six I lay them right down along the trench my trench is about four to six inches deep so that's about right four to six six to eight whatever you choose so uh, we're gonna keep going and get these planted so what I'm doing is taking this whole potato and laying it right down in my trench and I'm going to hold this end up where the uh, leaves can come out and I'm going to bury it bury it so those are sticking out and just mound it up probably could have gone a little deeper with that just covering up that potato. You want to keep it away from the sun. All right, so where's the end of my potato? Right there. Okay, so I want to take the next potato. Do the same thing. The end of my potato is here. So I'm going to put this one here. So it's sticking up.
Okay, so I have 34 potato spuds, the actual potato in here. And uh, all, more, all of these have six potatoes in them, except for the last row only has four. And then I took two of my red potatoes and put them down on the end. I don't want to waste any space. So that's going to all be potato. I've got three, six, nine, uh, uh, 14 of the red potatoes that I'm going to need to find a spot for. And that's fine. I will find a spot and we'll get some of those going. But all of these hopefully have not gone to waste. These actually will be potatoes. I'm going to water these guys in and we're going to watch their progress and see and see if these guys grow. So hopefully you can see uh, I've left the tips sticking out on them all the way down on every row and then some of them that were a little bit shorter. See if I can find one like right here. There was a longer one here, and then I had a little bit of a shorter one, and I popped that one up, hoping that might make some more potatoes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, once these kind of leaf out a little bit, I'm going to take, we're going to keep mounding. They're going to get taller and taller and leaf out, and I'm going to keep mounding them, mounding them up. I've got plenty of dirt in between. So I'm going to go through and do that with my hoe, mound up the dirt all around the plants, and then I have extra dirt just to keep mounding as I need it uh, to keep those potatoes producing.